What's going on everybody, this is Blackwood07 bringing you a Minecraft video of how to make a vending machine in Minecraft that is really small and compact and can fit in worlds that have really barely any size to them. But, these two vending machines are solely independent with the same common hole. Um, this is where you would pay for things, obviously. And these are the two vending machines. Now these two are individual, they're not... They're connected by the same source, but yet they both operate on their own. Um, if there is nothing in, in no sand block or anything in the hole, then there will be nothing happening. So right now this one's full of that, um, and then this one is full of the redstone. And as you can see, nothing happens. Obviously, nothing happens. But then, if I get a sand block, and I put two sand blocks down instead of one, now there's two of them down there, I can get one block, yay, and then I can get redstone, yay, but now, my two sand blocks are eaten up, I can't do nothing, now, it's over, move on buddy champ, it's over. Anyway, so this is how you build this little contraption that's only about two wide and probably around seven deep. So it's just like a little narrow gap. But here is the the unit. It's very small. Obviously not that big. It's good for maybe a three wide gap between the walls, like in a castle. This can be like there could be a wall right against this repeater or this uh, piston. So the wall is only like two deep. That's all it needs to be. And then everything's underneath the floor. So, this is how you build it. So, what you'll need, we'll build it right over here. Man, it's getting dark out here. Let's see here, I'll put down some torches. There we go. Okay, so anyway, on this blank section of the wall, I'm gonna, re I'm gonna build that again and show you how to build it. So what you'll probably need, it'll be more than what your hotbar can handle. But what you'll need is a block, um, glowstone, the block can be anything of your choosing, it can be whatever your design is, but that over there is what is going to come out. Um, I put stairs, the upside down stair and the normal stairs, you have to have it to prevent theft. So like I can get, still get into the stinking thing, but um, well that sucks, you can still get into it. They changed it. Before you couldn't because this block is a half a block, this block is a half a block, and you can't, you can't do it. But anyway, um, it could be just a glitch on my my Xbox right now. Um, anyway, so what you need is that you will need thing here. Now you want to build the face first, so you got a general area of where it needs to be. Um, but yeah, so that's what you'll need. And all of all things, sticky piston, that is the brain of the whole system. So, and a repeater, or not a repeater, a dispenser. I don't know why I keep saying repeater. But anyway, okay, so we are going to place this down, this down. Glowstone is what we're selling. And then you break the three blocks above it. Because that is where that's going to be. Place a block. Oh, I forgot stairs. Like I said, it was going to be more than what your hot bar, hot, ah, I can't talk today, hot bar can handle. So, then you place that there. There's the face, or what you'd call the face. And then this, you can either have a knot and be like a little light, or you can do it like that, or I've seen people put half blocks up and just kind of do a little glow. But this is all it contains. This is all that you'll see. The player will only see this. And on the back side, you place a block down, put a dispenser there, and then now means you've mastered the face of it, now it's time to get to the redstone abilities. So, you will need block here, block here, break that block, and then you'll need two more redstones down, I think, yeah, yeah, two more redstones, redstones down. And then after you do that, then you could put your thing there. It will turn if that torch right underneath it turns off, then you've got enough. There's about four there. Then you can actually carry on with this. It will never be breaking. And then you can put this, 
that this right now it seems confusing but it is all a pattern it's mostly a pattern then you can put this here this here redstone redstone zone torch torch then you place this underneath it's like a little catch tray looking thing and then you put that there that there now you notice those turned off those dispense this dispense and that torch is back on now it's been proven that if the torch is on all the time or off all the time the dispenser only dispenses once so it still works you can um, bypass this by putting some kind of other torches up here if you were if you were to break this and place this like this right let's see here what did I do well, there's a there's another way so that when you press the button, you get two items instead of one. Um, I think it's like this. Um, maybe. But anyway, you can have a torch that's lit here and a torch that's not lit on its side. And when you press the button, it will do it two times. Um, so you get one block is the price of two. Um, let's see here. So, back to this. Now, you place this out here. Make like a stream. Kind of like... A little miniature wall. Now underneath, yeah, underneath here, you break these two, like that. I have this here. Now between here is actually where the shutoff switches will be. There. So this, all it does is when the piston comes down, it's supposed to go above these stone, these redstone torches, and activate the whole lever system. Now over here, this is where the button will be. There's the button behind this block right there. So you want redstone underneath it. You want the piston here. Now most people will say, well that's way too close to this redstone here no matter what. It's going to activate. Well it won't if you break that block. Put it back down. I'll put it there. Now it's totally independent all by itself. Nothing is going to activate it unless that button is pressed. Now that's there. Now when you press the button, piston will go down, go over that torch, go down the redstone, up this redstone, and then it will dispense whatever you have. In this case, I'm going to throw a repeat or a dispenser in there. And then, yeah. So, it means we have one, but we have two mechanisms. This one here, from this torch over would not exist if it was only if it was just one vending machine there was only one here which right now there is only one this would not exist this is the second vending machine I just kind of pre-made it already okay so there's that we'll go ahead and make the second vending machine anyway do under here we'll just go ahead and make it anyway just to kind of fill in the redstone I made over there let's go there 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 and I just like threw away my dispenser and we don't need that put this here sorry about the uh, quality of the video um, I had to switch to AV because the device I'm using, which is an easy cap recording DVR system, uh, does not allow HDMI settings, so it just kind of bums me out that it's kind of like all fuzzy and everything. Um, I'd like it to be clearer, but it just ain't going to happen. There we go. That's all it is. Those are two vending machines right beside each other. They're all with the same common. Now, Instead of sitting here and building this little contraption right here, which is the thing that tells the vending machine to activate, I'm just going to hook it off the end of this one. So you still use the same hole for these four now instead of two. So what you do is you just link them together. Simple, very non-complex. Hook here, hook here, like a, like a jumper cable. Like that. Boom. Now these shut off, if these are off at the end, because right now the whole vending machine's done. You built it. Um, when these are off, then that means there's nothing in the pay center over here, so that means nobody can buy anything. Um, now most people that I've seen in some of my uh, 
some of my games, they just kind of like, oh, why don't I just place a, a hard block down, you know, like, ha 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 ha, you know, it'll never go away. Well, if you make the hole deep enough, it wouldn't work anyway, because you can't place it. If you fall in the hole to place it, <laughs> you're stuck in the hole. So, that's kind of like a deterrent right there. And then, if you have sand and gravel around your place, you just basically defeated the purpose of the hole. If you made a, like a, like a dirt or gravel or a gravel or sand path, and then you just dig it up and throw it in there, then I guess they're not really trustworthy friends. But anyway, there. That's it. That's all you need. It's over. You got it. You built it. There we go. See? You built it. Now, you can place these, like, way up there in the air so that they can't reach this. Um, and you can put, like, a waterfall underneath or whatever, and it can just kind of float out and land on the ground. But anyway, as you can see, there is a uh, dispenser in there. Press the button. Nothing happened. Right? Nothing dispensed. But if you take a sand block or gravel, don't matter, place it down, instant activation. I can press anything of these four machines. Press the button. It will dispense my item. Now, I just dispensed it. Now what do I do? Oh, can't do it. See, it, it dispensed... Wait, it just should have, should not have dispensed. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I didn't hook this to this. So now it's always going to be there. So the only way you can actually hook this together without accidentally causing all the machines to activate at once, kind of like make a T. Now you can put this, uh, machines in between this. Um, make like a T. And then right here you can either place it here or you can place it here whatever if you want it lit all the time or you don't want it at all do like that and then let's see here oh, okay hey I, I don't like that when you press a button and your hot bar is full it just kind of like grabs it and then drops it let's see here do 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 repeater to make sure the current makes it now you want to place a repeater every 12 blocks, not 15 like it's recommended on Minecraft Wiki or Minecraft.net uh, Minecraft um, because if you place every 15, which is exactly the end of the redstone limit for uh, this kind of redstone, um, it will cause a lag or it will not work sometimes. So if you place it every 12, it's mostly guaranteed. Just like a piston can only move 13 blocks if there's 14 blocks it will not activate at all so I would like to I like to go to 10 and then make whatever turn or drop or whatever for the next piston to interact so but anyway that's all it is so now there we go now it's set up now it's all good to go now I can press this button you give me what I want which there's nothing in it right now and yeah but now if I press it again that sensor will not activate. See? No secondary click on any of these machines. Well, that one's not wired in. None of these machines. Yes, I know. I did not put a a piston thingy right here, but oops, right here, but it's okay. You kind of understand what it is. So, it's all good. So, yeah. So this is a vending machine, compact, small, I believe it's, what is it, only two wide, really, it's only two wide, and about one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten deep, that's, that's it, ten deep, now width is up to you, this can be either this direction, or you can flip it over and flip it and go this direction, it's whatever you choose, but this is it. This is all it is. You can do this a billion times. Um, I've had 36 in a row once. But the thing is, if you have two players, and one wants one thing and one wants another, you're just going to have to take turns kind of thing. Um, make like a room so that only one player can go in at a time. Um, I will have a YouTube video of that at some point. 
how to make a uh, one player accessible room each time so that there isn't a confusion um, and so you can so player drops in choose your item go on it's pretty good for uh, like zombie apocalypse stuff this can be like in a store or something um, you can delete the wall around it make like a little uh, square bunker setup kind of thing with this circulating around it that kind of stuff you can do whatever you want with it but this is just kind of like the smallest vending machine I've ever made or seen um, I haven't seen this on YouTube before so I'm just kinda happy that it's possible and it's not much redstone so lagging me not is actually is not a possibility because I've had it for years and um, the sand it could be anything as long as there is this line is connected to some source of falling sand or moving this can be placed anywhere this hole can, doesn't have to be right beside the vending machine it can be hidden underneath a fireplace or something kind of like something special like a hidden object um, well you can place it anywhere as long as there's a torch lit for these guys and a torch lit for the piston and then there's an always an activation secondary after the dispenser has dispensed so it's pretty cool it's not not very complex if uh... just to show you behind the scenes of what it would look like this is what it would look like i'm just going to place a random block down boom now supposedly it's activated as you can see the torches now when you press the button this is what you see that's it that's all it is simple quick right to the point no messing around. Here, this side, here we go. That's it. That's all it is. Now when you press the button without anything there, there's nothing there. Because this torch is not lit no more. So anyway, there you go guys. This is a Minecraft video of how to make a, a uh, vending machine. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe. Um, Give me some likes, and uh, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and peace out.